it's Clay and I'm back and this is uh, kind of getting the first uh, part of the project going on this new Tele build and uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, true oil finish and preparing the body and so uh, for, I've done a lot of research, read a lot of forum posts and guides on this type of thing and they all kind of have a consensus that it's really important to get the body as smooth and as ready to go as possible uh, before you actually start applying the true oil which is kind of different maybe than some of the other finishes because they kind of like with a nitro finish it kind of melds together into one and you can make it flat that way but the true oil because it kind of soaks into the wood and um, it doesn't quite come together in the same way chemistry wise uh, it's more important to actually make sure that your fit your wood is really flat and smooth um, you know and, and with most bodies they're not going to come with a bunch of primer on it like this one so I, I'm going to first remove the primer but then if you just have a bare piece of wood you want to make sure that you uh, sand it down as best as you can and get it nice and as flat as you can and, and basically from what I understand with the sanding it's best to you know vary your grits so if you start with more of a coarse grit you want to move down to a finer grit uh, you know so if you have four different sanding passes you want to start with something high like I don't know 100 and move maybe even all the way up down to something like steel wool uh, just so you can really make sure that you can get it nice and flat and smooth as possible so I'm going to start with some 100 grit and we're just going to uh, get sanding so let's do it <coughs> It's Clay and I'm back with day two. Got some more sanding to do. Uh, I just wanted to show off the progress so far and kind of talk about what has gone right, what has gone wrong, where I'm at. So uh, it looks to me like it's uh, definitely swamp ash, which is exciting. I feel really, really good about that. Um, I was able to kind of get most of this off. There's still, you know, and, and I was actually doing some looking up just about the nature of primer and sanding it and all that jazz. And, you know, some people, uh, have suggested using some sort of chemicals to strip it off and that'd be pretty unrealistic for me just because I have limited space and equipment uh, so they pretty much just said you're gonna have to sand it all the way through but uh, a lot of them just said to taper your expectations especially with the uh, the pores and the grains because uh, you know there might be to some extent where I'm not actually going to be able to get it out so uh, I think that may already be happening but um, that's right, it is what it is, not a big deal. Uh, you know, and I also learned, I started with 100 grit and I probably should have started lower. Uh, so I actually went to the store and I got some more sandpaper. Uh, went with the big stuff, 60 grit, 18 sheets, that better cover it. I think I used 5 sheets yesterday of 100 grit and I uh, was just able to get through the, the top. Uh, a little bit on the back, I kind of started, but got a lot left to do there. Um, but I think this stuff, we're bringing in the heavy machine guns, uh, and I'm keeping this, <clears throat> this will probably, I'll probably just, uh, maybe I'll use the 60 and then just kind of work my way, uh, you know, when, I, when I'm done with this, when I feel like I've got it pretty clear. Uh, and I got this bad boy as well. I don't even know. I, 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 I really am not a huge, uh, I don't have any background in woodworking, so I'm kind of learning it all through the internet, uh, the miracle of the internet. Um, but hey, you, you can't learn unless you just do it or try it. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just go ahead and get started. We're going to bust out the 60 grit, and we are going to rock this bad boy. It's going to be great. Oh, um, so a couple of mistakes I think I've made. 
Uh, yesterday I put it on the concrete when I was doing my sanding, and as you can see, there are some there's some scraping that happened, some cuts, some um, you know, and I and I I kind of expected that would happen, but these are maybe a little bit deeper than I had hoped. And I don't want to actually take off a lot of the wood. I want the sandpaper to do the job. Uh, I want to leave as much wood on there as I can. And I realize that to some extent that's not necessarily feasible, but I think putting it on the concrete was a bad choice. Uh, kind of a noob move. And also, <clears throat> I uh, read some suggestions about sanding with the grain, and I don't know if you can see, but I think in here I was going sideways, so I, that is against the grain, and it just doesn't feel as good like there's definitely I can kind of feel each of these grain lines as I cross over them whereas over here it's nice and smooth um, so I'm gonna continue to sand with the grain this time I don't want to mess anything else up uh, so I actually think I'm gonna put the body in the grass because that that'll be nice and soft and comfortable and maybe it'll get some grass stains but uh, yep so let's just go ahead and uh, start sanding <laughs> Well, this has been after about 10 minutes with the new stuff, and so this, uh, this 60 grit 3M is amazing. It is doing such a good job getting through. Um, I was probably going at it for a couple of hours yesterday. My shoulders were getting super tired. It was taking forever. I actually gave it one more run through on the top, and as you can see, I'm getting some nice grass stains, but. It's looking great. This top is looking beautiful. Look at that grain. Oh, that's going to be nice. Um, definitely, you know, there's some more scratch. There's a, a deeper scratch right there. So I'm, it's definitely going to need some intermediate grade. But for getting this primer off, this 60 grit has been awesome. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to pad number two.
All right, another update. The back is pretty much done. That 60 grit does work. I'm pretty impressed, and actually, I keep looking, but I can't find a joint. So it kind of makes me wonder if this is a one-piece body. In that instance, I am pumped out of my mind, because that will be very exciting. So yeah, now I'm starting on the sides. That's not going to be a lot of fun, I don't think. But onward we must go. Onward we must go. Yeah!